Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, innovating, and amazing propaganda cast with me, your host, Imperial Dane, the one and only master propaganda here of like defender of the fatherland of Hitler, one and one on Vera Fiore. In the northwest, it is the Jeffers of G's, Jeff G, fighting for freedom, democracy, and liberty. Here, the US first armed mission task with fighting up in here in Germany. Like Weakling in the German lines and exploit it with armor. In the southeast, it is Latouf. Fighting here for the German army. Deutschland here for the 114th. Jäger DV Sean. Ken Kratzinger southwards. Got the Pawnees heading northeastwards. And of course, Scout Racing South. The overall pretty stand capping all to see. Of course, Jeff G with a double scout opening for just more territorial gains, more flares, more smokes, more hardcore scout action. As always, big hearty thanks to my patron supporters for continued generous and absolutely glorious support of the propaganda cast keeps making all these videos possible. And a big hearty thanks for commenting and liking on them helps automatically with the YouTube algorithms. So, Pawnees with a few point. Note again the way he's positioned. He's just like barely got a foot there on it. He's just ready to move on to the next point. And they're already bold. Then he's with Sandbags Bart Wire here. Of course, the Bart Wire is important to make use in, like, you know, most of the Sandbags will be covered by the point. It can't like even use a single shred of it against him. And we got Jeff G here with armor. Balgrave veteran crews. Of course, a lot of fancy new icons there. I think armored Balgrave is probably the Balgrave of the Jessica's Garden. The most, you say, visual overhaul there with a lot of new icons. Sandbox in there. Got Rob's called catching on with Rob. Done it, DSC. Shots hit the. Going on, and of course, now with the change of the time to kill the Glen Lee, it's like you have a bit of an edge here at longer distances. It means again, the rifle can't easily really close in, so they could actually somewhat keep the rifle at distances. So here, Jeff G would need to be a bit smart against the Glen Lee's, like getting up a hand, whereas before that, he could just walk straight up and beat the Glen Lee's. No problem, of course, right here, the Glen Lee's will suffer some damage, so in this case, it's not quite as clear cut. MU42, they're arriving. South side scouts pushing back the Ketten cart there, quickly rushing that out of there. Rabbit's got the drone course with the rear of the MD-42. Jeff G, of course, quickly able to analyze. The engagement's going to go very south for his GIs if he sticks around in front of the MD-42. Up north here, Pioneers clashing with the scouts. Both make a rush to the building. Here that gets the kick in that door first. Pretty much wins it. And there you go. Rabbit's got up here behind the fountain. MD-42 far there, spraying hot German lead all over it. Second gun in the escort here for the tooth. So far, fairly standard Vama build order. It's simply are the two Pioneers. Double gun is MD-42 or... You know, Cat and Crowd, two gurneys, I mean, you for two. And then typically Tech here. I mean, he could go for heavy tier one than that, but... In the case of the non-heavy tier ones, this is typically what you get there. Third round squad almost done here for the Jeffest of G's. Got the center victory point. Got the fuel point. Got the second one. It is called, we got Jeff here already with grenades. Looking to, of course, leverage the great throwing ability of his men. And, of course, the great explosive capabilities of the United States Arsenal. Again, Krat rushing up north here, of course, looking to pressure here, Jeff G, and divert forces away here from, you know, otherwise, you know, the front line the towards the rear line. So that's a pretty clever way they've used the Cat and Krat, but a tooth. Bit risky, of course. And, of course, with snares out there, that could cost him the Cat and Krat. And the south side here, of course, we see, though, Jeff G doing the same to the tooth, hitting his fuel point. Right side of space again. Both players here definitely added there with the aggressive harassment. Two thumbs up, Ken Crack the dodging out here, making use of these side roads here to exit this game out there. Scouts with drawing pioneers there. Spotting the scouts falling back though. Fair bit of damage in the south here. A lot of action here, a lot of engagement. There we go. Luf have a company out here for the tough. And the 1 and 14th Jaeger to be shown. Second Jaeger company. Shooting event heading towards the north side. Here to respond to GFG now heading north here, of course, but the MD4 to at least for what he knows, in the south, heading north, of course, does make more sense. There you go, MD42 is quickly positioned. A tooth here, not a stacking, static MD42 player. He knows the best MD42 is a roaming MD42. And hitting the car point as well. That really aggressive play there by the tooth against Jeff G here in the early game. Absolutely astounding. Aggressive play here. Ken Crap is in the south now. Got the fuel point back, of course. So, Jeff G is definitely feeling the heat out of tooth, and we got mechanized support center out of Jeff G as well there, a bold, interesting choice, which has definitely been getting more popular as of late, I think in part because, again, they made the cold Kansas shot for the Greyhound a lot better as well. It's definitely surge there, mine goes off, he killing Bobby and Bobbitts. 
Uh, from Thank California. You. Arrived in the tank here for having the food too. Got the mechanized supports and halfway done. Nothing out of the Luftwaffe company. There we go. We got actual Jaegers on the way there. Raft caught pushing southwards. And another Raft caught there for Jeff G. Of course, if he's gone for armor, mechanized supports, and of course, does make sense. In particular, he's going to go for the light vehicles. Being like the Shermans do benefit, obviously, a fair bit from it. But. As of current speaking, most players, if they are going for this, are going for it because, again, they want that Greyhound with the cannons to shots. Again, Cody Spada is going to go knocked out here. That's going to be great. Of course, he, he also lost his gun. He's going to do trench for one out. Okay, trench right here. He's going hard in the Jaegers here. Two thumbs up. Again, I'm also seeing trench has being a bit more popular as of late. Which is also nice to see there. It's a sort of great way to, like, suddenly get a bit of a, you know... Bump and firepower and overall capability. There we go. Two Jaeger squad tied from 114th Jaeger. Squad teaming ahead with their G43s. Panther on the way there. Obviously concerned about, you know, light vehicles out of GFG. In particular in the current, like, you know, even, you know, nasty light vehicle meta game, possibly out of yourself with the you know, counts around Greyhound. You definitely want, you know, to be prepared for that. Giraffe's got hung up against the Jaegers in the gun the EC. Stand infantry pushing out of uh, a tooth, but it's being held up here. Machine gun getting flanked at the Ralph squad. Good use of the terrain here by the Jeff G. Catching Latouf's machine in a bad spot, and we got mechanized out there with Latouf. Territory sector. Grounds on the point. There you go, motor pull out of Jeff G. Guessing another pantry trick here, although of La Tuff. I mean, he could decide not to, but we'll see. Catch from Raft Squad here, pushing it back. Northern pointing seats for the Raft Squad and the scout here in there. Mr. La Tuff's Northern Resource Income. So even he's winning the engagement in the center because all of his infantry is there. I mean, Jeff G can just ignore it in a sense because he's just got one Raft Squad occupying pretty much La Tuff's entire army and then hit every other point. It's actually a pretty smart move there by Jeff G. Like, sometimes you just focus on finding a pun directly, but another way to hurt them is, of course, hit their economy. And Jeff G is definitely in for hardcore economic warfare. Third Jaeger squad out there, so pretty heavy search for the Jaegers here. Definitely a bit of watch on seeing this hard of a Jaeger push, but as I said, they did, of course, alongside Grandis and other units, get a bit of improvement there to time to kill, so that has made the Jaegers, of course, a lot more attractive as well. Lance could have catching the Jaegers on the cutoff point. We're up here to a total of five round scores of GFG, which of course, without the infantry support send and all the stuff, there's going to be slightly tougher to, you know, maintain, but not impossible. Of course, it still has the, the medical support center. Medic station. The doctor tent. Jaegers that push back for the Ralph squad. Up close to the Jaegers, well, I think so lose the Rathman. To an extent, at least the, that's what happened there, definitely. So that is semi-automatics versus semi-automatics. Printing in there to deny the Jaegers the ability to grab the punk and he's rhyming up as well here. Nothing further there though, Mr. Jeffy and his uh, battle group. I'm expecting War Machine any time now, any moment. We got rearm and retrofit the briefly considered, so yeah. I'm definitely smelling a Greyhound with cancer rounds. And there you go, catch the eggs retreated. That's a really good read there by Jeffy on the situation. Catching on to La Tuva's doing a sensing opportunity. Two thumbs up GFT again. Really sharp play. Oh, and to wrap salt into the wound. Possibly even vinegar. The Panzer Shrek is dropped. That is a big loss here for La Tuva. Not only to lose the Jaeger squad, but it was the one with the Panzer Shrek. And now his opponent has it. Make it hardy for the Arctic. But we get improvised armor there for GFT to make his chaffies and grains a bit toughy as well. Interesting choice there. Though. I mean, he's going for the improvised armor upgrade before he's even got the light vehicle out of there. Definitely not what I expect he out of GFG, but then again, GFG is definitely uh, pushing the boundary. Okay, cancelled for the meet your champion response to the Arc Guard. Unsurprisingly, Scout here is about to get melted though by the Arc Guard. Of course, won't be enough to compensate for that tragic loss of the Eager Squad, but it's a nice consolation prize, I suppose. Uh, the Jaegers move northwards here. Greyhound on the way for GFG instead. GFG definitely having a bit of a tough time figuring out what he wants to do here. That can happen. We got the panther Fresh Pantry got the Flood Tooth. I imagine we'll be looking at more Jaegers though. We when he gets out now, the Jaegers score, of course, is the bigger question. We have vehicles ready to be deployed. Greyhound halfway done here still. Okay, there we go. Now we got Strength of the Sea. We got Field Repairs. And another Greyhound out of GFG.
Who's going to hit La Tuf hard here with the M8 Greyhounds? But we might, of course, then see the cancer rounds as well. I'd say there's a very good chance of them. Of course, question is when is that going to be? Then he's engaged the Panzer Shrek Rifleman. Now the Jaegers for their Flat Tuf. More Jaegers. Jaegers are on the open here, landing a few hits here. Have captured a victory point. And there you go. Engaging that route squad there from a reasonably safe distance. And a fighting nest here from a tooth. Wow, but there it gets hit quickly. Hold here with the route squad moving in. Oh, no, that's a mine. There you go. Jaeger squad out here. Send Grey on out. More Pantrix there for the tooth. Officer's quarters. Excellent investment, of course. There's the Jaegers, but also the Arctard here, which would benefit from it. That is a very strong choice there, Latuf. But Jeff G definitely struggling here with the heavy surge and the Aegis backed up with the Arctart. And there you go. Rearm and retrofit. That's going to be those canister rounds here. Which has also been changed now from an activated ability to a toggle ability. So basically, switch between the regular rounds and the canister rounds on the armored cars. Research completed. Victory point lost. Hitting the armored car patrol south of sea, gonna catch the Eagles out in the open. We have Redford almost done there, gonna gain the arc up, but there you go. Patch Strike returns the favor, slams into the M8. Then, of course, having the improvised armor would actually help decrease some of the damage from the Patch Strike. The Greyhounds won't get a big benefit, but there's still there's a slight damage increase. The Shermans benefit the most, action go basically making the Patch do 160 damage. You know, instead of that, it's doing only 100 damage, so that's a pretty big difference. North Hit Troops sitting out. So with the double Greyhounds there, GFD is suddenly pushing back against Latuf, who's going for a fourth Jaeger squad here. Rather than getting mauled out in the open, and there you go, improvised down at GFG. Again, the opponent's going to go for a lot of Panzer Rex here, playing to the USF. You got mechanized support center, improvised arm is an excellent sector. upgrade. In particular, we are going for Shermans. That one really can make a big difference in like an engagement. Right, going to holding out this rather close in. Could have breached there, but of course the classic grenade. Yep. Quite a bit into the great. The troops did not take it. Jaeger's being ordered here to seize the center. Charging ahead there. G for the feet flying to the Dargan Americans. There go Grain swing up here again, trying to force the Glenys retreat. And there you go, right in front of the Greyhounds. And I think he's actually popping the cancer rounds already. Yes, indeed, they can be a bit whiffy here, but at the same time, they can also score some impressive hits. They do a lot less as well units in cover, though, but again, in units in the open, they can make some impressive hits. And there you go, in fact, that Jaeger squad almost got wiped by them. There we go. Mass amounts of damage from the cancer rounds. Basically, turns them into like massive shotguns. Inside buildings, you are pretty safe from that. Enemy forces have secured all victory points. All victory points as well here by GFG. The two fever the support elements, guessing Marders, maybe a Vibrant. Vibrant seems very likely to have people with riflemen, and there you go. Arctic in the south, catch the GIs there. Engineers here for GFG's repairs, uh, beleaguered Greyhounds. Really good sort of map play there by GFG. We have advanced weaponry ready to be deployed. He certainly also made it a bit easier for him to, like, you know, well, his opponents to sort of, you know, figure out a count in this case. A lot of Jaegers, of course, again, with enough Greyhounds with the canister rounds, that may not be as clear cut a counter. They have the, the Americans the were fairly we big fans the of the canister rounds, particularly the third similar gun. In fact, one reason some crews actually still like the lead tank and so on there was because, again, it had access to a third similar canister rounds, and they're apparently really, really good. Of course, they still prefer Sherman overall, but. We're definitely fond of those cancer rounds. Anyways, Rappelman charging forwards here. Setting up here in the other build for there. Good grenades already there predicting the movement pattern. All of Mark II frag grenades here doing a lot of damage. You can see here, Tooth's entire position planned out is quickly disassembled here. But Jeff Gizzi moves forwards in the south. Grand striking in there. Mine's going off here, but the Jaegers here get wiped by the cancer rounds. He's even going to push into the base room to score some wipes. Martyrs on the way of the flood. Tooth to counter the cancer round Greyhounds. 
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. They're going to be treating right in front of this. Chaffee's on the way now for GFT as well here. Well, street wise, I think they're a bit safer there, but still that. Okay, I think he's turned it off there. Match the fortune there of Latou's infantry. I nice switching rounds again. I think that's why it's not doing anything there. I think he probably should have just withdrawn at that point when he had to do that. But yeah, imagine we had the cans run selected then, got a bit lucky. That could have been possibly in the GG. Now, Ralph's going to be in the Portman Street team. Could see what here from the Tooth on Gipti. Of course, the Tooth wants vengeance for all those fallen soldiers. Chaffee's almost done. No grenades there for Jeff G. This is great for Tooth Armor Carlinga to continue that hunt here. Marta 3M has arrived. Been a while since seen that as well here in a 1v1. Yes, yeah, they're being mauled out in the open. Ralph's got pushed back. Arkham the drum. You could see and wipe here. He's from that angle. Now we got the chaffer in the field here for Jeff G. Engaging the Arkham. First shot, the misses. Good fortune here for the armored car crew there. Second shot from the chaffer that goes through it like a hot knife through butter. The South the American force then gauging the Marta. No snare though, and the Marta escapes successfully. But the Arctra does not and becomes a massive bonfire crashing to the walls, stuff exploding, bricks tumbling down. Chaos and confusion. Emil Jaegers withdrawing here, another Marta out of him. Mine goes off the Chaffee tank there. But he's not really got a lot of great options. He basically has to like move up his heavily damaged Marta to to get the job done which is going to be a bit risky here but there you go i think he's just keeping the grenades running in case he has to panther faust to, to get it knocked out there you go chaffee down got war machine there activated now for gfg as well there so any only further adding more economic incentive for gfg to just swarm his opponent with the light vehicles marder 3 they're being hauled back the marder die ausführung m which was the last model in the marder 3 series Mounting at pack 40 on the Czechoslovakian Pant 38G chassis. Of course, after that, they would slowly move towards the Hetzer. But there'd still be a variety of other weapon platform being used for the Marder 3M chassis, as well as the Flak Pants that actually take apart. And there's the Grille Ausführung M, so they did still make use of the chassis in the Marder itself would cease production. Fun fact. Now they're chaffing on the way there for GFG. Of course, he has to be a bit more careful now. Once the multiple Marders get rolling, I would also probably be a bit careful about splitting off the Marders too much. Some distance does make sense, otherwise the risk just is getting soaked around by a single chaff, even two chaffies, and they can't catch up. So some distance between them to create, you know, overlapping fields of fire is good, but there's overlapping fields of fire, and then there's like, you know, just being too far apart to support each other. So I think kind of the area's in now. I think he called on to that. He's beginning to pull back the other Marder there, reeling it in. Not much of the Valkyrie for La Tuff, yes, of yet. Greyhounds lining up for what appears to be a deeper faint than a GFG. The enemy has claimed our territory for their own. Ralph scores their funding out against the Aegis. Enemy forces have captured a victory point. Commander, we have command points that still require assignment. So being them out here could pop white fossils rounds. I further in the two space. Mines exploding. We are getting much for Jeff G finally. Thumbs up to that. We got 260 versus 30. Jeff G's got next to her the tough. And there you go charging and trying to catch those marks with the riflemen. Switching salvage here. Catch the pioneers here, and I believe they're looking at cancer rounds here. Yup. Good chance of YP. I mean, probably would have had it as well with the regular rounds, but that is gone. Good white then, so any highlights that the two full need to be more careful about, you know, using units for harassment like that. And they do not have any anti tank. That's a really good white there then for GFG. A two full had to replace them once anywhere repairing his stuff. They got the Panther called in and the Panzer Comfort Wagen 5 as from D. And they also updated sound spy. Two thumbs up to that. Deutschland. Now the champion level for Jeff G. Osborne engaged by the Panzerkampfwagen 5. We have lost the sector. So that's definitely gonna make it a bit tough here for Jeff G to just rely heavily on just, you know, light armor. Going ahead here with the Panther. Enemy 
A two for gaining more and more control here. What a one on the fourteenth Jäger Division supported by elements of the twenty sixth Panzer Division. As so the Jäger Division definitely would not have directly have organic access to Panthers. No infantry division to have. Not even the most elite. We have vehicles ready to be deployed. Catching the knees for the MD42 Jäger doing with the cannons roll here. Yeah, he's keeping the Martyrs close to the Panther. Panther, of course, going to draw fire, but if they try to flank, the, the Martyrs will clear the flankers, basically. So that adds a bit of a challenge here to the situation for Jeff G, and we'll have to see how he responds to this. Victory point lost. And there's a little withdrawing. Catching in the Greyhounds with the Panther Shacks. Oh, rockets are splitting off here. Panther going in. Great shot there on the Greyhound. Panther bouncing shot with ease. Chaff is also bouncing their shots off the Panther's 80mm sloped armor. Greyhound down. Great shot there from the Panther. Complicated situation. There goes Snares off here. Slightly damaging the Panther. Chaffee almost down. East side here. Rascal threat in the flank here. And we could see Rascal down. Grenades off here. Need to get these GZ GRs out of there. Oh, that's going to be too late, actually. They, uh, that is too late, unless Jeff G, he has insane luck, and he did not. In fact, he's done just three Rav scores, having suffered fairly intensive losses by now. Snares, they're being unleashed upon the Panther. Gating the Panther with a Pantrick shot that fails to make much of an impact. Marders withdrawing. But even as this is all happening, Jeff, he's still like hitting the southern points with his remaining scout squad. So thumbs up to that. He's busy there fixing up all of Jeff D's armor and such. Our territory is exposed. We must re-establish a connection. Also, little fun fact, but the M8 Grand is still seeing service today in the Mexican army, though they have switched out the third similar gun with a 20mm auto cannon. But yeah, the Mexican army still makes use of a fair amount of World War II, vi well, fair amount, small amount of World War II vintage Pioneers armor. I'm not gonna like try and make it out like they only use it, but they do have like you know Greyhounds, M3, half tracks and such. They still being used, which is interesting. Now the champion on the way there for Jeff G. And there we go, third chaffy ready here for Jeff G, the Jeffest of G's. Sector lost. Awaiting orders. My crew are ready, Commander. And then going to be forcing up a nice cutting position here, 231, 270. We got the assault rifle package there for that tooth. Not that it's gonna matter anytime soon because, well, you can't exactly get the Star Storm to utilize with it. It's not like it's an upgrade you can use to say the Jaegers. That would be it. something else. If he could. We'll have to see what Jeff is planning next. I mean, fuel caches could be an option to at least they'll catch up some way the there. Line. Take up, he'd go for a weapon support to maybe get some machine to deal with these Jaegers. And there you go, Ralph got caught here in a bad spot. Not the Ralph's got up, but it's definitely a bit awkward there. I think Jeff G needs to start taking these Jaegers a bit more seriously, particularly not ace level. They are definitely very tough customers, and definitely not something you're going to be taking lightly with your low, you know, veterans infantry. Panther Malik George is up north here. We got the Grand Wing around here, going to flank Northwards. He's advancing, getting hammered here. Another Chaffee there for Jeff G. He's going hard on the Chaffees. Looking to flash out the MD-42 there, Panther Martyrs in Norfolk's respond to that. In the South, the Grenadiers fighting off a single Scott squad, though they are low numbers. Pioneers in the move. I mean, those right Jeff is theoretically not too far away from, say, just being able to call in EC8s of his own or building them if you get some you know, tank depot out. And the Scout squad got wiped. Stinging blow there to Jeff G. And a second Panther here. The sheer number of Chaffees is definitely causing Latufi to commit to a well decent amount of Panthers respond to that. We will end this. The enemy has only 
That's going to be tougher for the Chaffees to take. I mean, not impossible. Like, if they keep consistently getting behind the Panthers' front llama, they do have a chance at it. And, of course, if Latuvi goes into half this Panther. But the front llama can definitely with these Chaffees reasonably well. Yeah, the side armor is much weaker. Trying to be into the Marta, but it might be so late. We've got Smoke Pop, which buys the Panther a bit more time. Driving that with the info too. Panther joining in. Panther down. Patrick joining up. Marta down. Second Marta is... Got, oh, it's getting flanked as well here. Panther turning around here. Massive engagement here. Lots of armor exploding here. Mechan assault activated. Giving the Panther a bit more lifetime here. There's all the Chaffees. Patrick's arriving. Chaffee exploding. Just all of the armor exploding here. It's down just one Panther and one Chaffee effectively. Of course, had Latouf not went into heart with that Panther. You know, he would have already had a much more focus to make sure this would be much tougher thing for GFT to even achieve. And he probably should have withdrawn sooner once, like, you know, that tooth was able to put out a more coherent, you know, finding position with his armor. He's going to lose his uh, final chaffy here. That seeking struggle, which was activated as well there. BAR's up and finds well for GFT's infantry. There you go, Panthers claiming another one for the Deutschland. And we got anti tank for GFG. And surprise response here to the Panther grenades flashing out the GS. We've got grenades from turn now. We've got 224, 217. And in the south, Pioneers being met with heavy automatic fire there. Immediately losing Ulrich. And we got the ground moving in as well there, possibly with cannon surrounds. Not. Probably just wants to engage from a safer distance. The ability is ready for use. Which does make sense in particular with the Panther, but I note of course in this case he's repairing the Panther as far away from his opponent as possible, taking no chances here that theoretically, like, you know, Jeff G could rush the two space with something and swarm the Panther and knock it out here. So that's definitely uh, Latufi being very cautious about the situation. Rob's got the map with him for two eights of that. Rob's got him tank southwards. Report the Allies have only 200 points. Operating all of his engines together in just one mass of infantry there. GR's engaging the advancing gears. Then he's put off. Another Rob's got there for Jeff G. And there you go. Mark two pounds of great strength in the midst of them, causing a fair bit of damage. And Panther wing forward supported by the Pioneers. Yeah, just had to work. Then the Ralph squad out in the open there. Easy pickings. Needs to withdraw and like GFG. GFG, they definitely does the right thing there. Got 215 on 96 here. In the south, Pioneers almost got the victory point. We can see there. GFG and the Americans looking to put a halt to that here. And there you go, Pioneer Squad rebuffed. Latouf with another Panther. Clearly the concern of Chaffee Swarms there is weighing heavily upon Latouf. The thumbs up to that. It's also been a fair while, I feel like, since in one one we've seen, like, you know, this heavy of a Panther usage out of anyone. That's definitely complicating the situation here for GFT and the third armor division. With the multiple Panthers prowling the battlefield. Never yeah, mind all the Jaegers. Oh, Panther fast here, but we got the cans around and there you go. Friedrich immediately gets ripped apart there. Getting shot there, Panther pushing forward. We've got anti tanks far away there. Most of it not making much of an impact, if any, on the Panthers. Yeah, because they're getting ripped apart and saying mentioning further for the 14th engage of two Panthers. Also, fun fact about the Panther, which is typically not discussed uh, very typically, but the Panther actually had no real reverse gears. I think it had like one or two, maybe, which basically meant that the Panther reversed very slowly to the point, I think, where basically it was more common for the crew to just turn around and they just draw in the other direction basically exposing the rear to the enemy potentially willingly because that was building just you know reversing at an incredibly slow snail's pace 
It's a little fun fact. The Panther North have got rough. Greyhound then gaining the Pioneers for Northern Victory Point. We got 175, it's 196 here. Pioneers getting grenaded, but they stand their ground. Supported by an MD42, which is typically a great morale boost when it comes to standing your ground. So what will Jeff D do next? I mean, he could take up, but fuel-wise, he's definitely struggling a bit. You go for more chaffies, but at the same time, a lot of Panther Treks to Panthers. It does make it harder here for Jeff D to like really leverage it. I mean, could go for mine to tank guns. Or he could, of course, try and go for EC8s. But even then, the problem right now is just one EC8 versus two Panthers. It's really only going to work in a Brad Pitt movie. There you go, he's bringing up Mighty Tank he's also bringing up more machine to help contain all of oh, the two of his to counter GFD's infantry. North here, Rapid and Pain for another push. Greyhound, they're still holding out the south side here. We got the new sneaking about. An MG42 team is ready. Machine gun out. Now the enter tank and ready. There you go, Panthers engaging the advancing riflemen. Doing a bit of damage here. Center they hold a by ample Yeager's and MU42 south side. Glad you got it skirmishing out here with engineers. We got the GFG's and tanks ready to engage the two Panthers. Attempt to engage them. Bounce off that. Another bounce off the Panthers front llama. And another Ralph Squad there for Jeff G. That's going to put up into six Ralph Squads there. Not very often you see a player like go that heavy in the infantry. Except for that guy in yesterday's video as well, but you know, six squads is still like, you know, typically the, enemy is stealing our territory from us. the heavier end for most players in terms of infantry squads. But of course, again, having six private squads is really powerful. We have lost control of a victory point. So I don't blame them for it. An officer shall preside for officer's quarters is there for the infantry company. company. Panthers are advancing, Rouse, but they met the MD42 and quickly suppressed. Of course, GFD, I think, wasn't expecting the troop to have another MD42 out. Now, Grand Tank trying to gauge the Panthers shots that are not quite panning out there. In the center, they're finding is intensifying. Machine guns are stalling GFD's maneuvers here quite aggressively. Panthers getting hit. One down, Thomas Half Health here. Can the anti tanks do more damage, or will the Panthers? There we go, safe. Let's get out loud of there. Jaeger's pushing up, Panthers was drawing here, Glendy is pushing back, Ralph to put up the Panthers. And there you go, more anti tank fire there, slamming through the side armor. The south side here, German forces have made great progress. We got Ralph's course being dispatched to put an end to this menace, and we got a third MD40 for the tough. I mean, your opponent has six Ralph's courts, having, you know, several MD42 teams is. Honestly, a, I think, fairly solid idea. Hundred and sixty nine was hundred and one. The enemy breaks before us. They have only one. La Tuff, they're building up more Valido with GFG again. GFG falling behind La Tuff and the Germans. He's trying his best, he's trying his damnedest. Of course, with GFG, he's just trying to catch those Panthers with his anti tank and put an end to them. There you go. Another Ralph squad ready. There's up to seven Ralph squads. I think this is just GFG just like, you know, going all in. In the sense, it probably doesn't feel like he's got all the options right now versus his opponent. Very bold choice and definitely fairly atypical. Ralph squad's about to get right with the Panther here. Betsy 2 actually has a shot at it. Fighting for the center intense. Finally, we see German forces being slowly. Eroded away there by constant attacks from all angles here. Oh, Ralph's got went down. Jaegers are falling back here. Losses for GFT remain high. Panthers pushing in here. And 
Panther's going in hard. And then Garros broke pink behind it, getting a snare off. Victory point is 158. TC Tracer for Gifty is really getting awkward. It's entertaining trouble here from the Panther. There we go, got one of the entertaining crews here using the Panther of all things. Picture racket, second Panther went flanking on the other side. We got Mac and I saw the activated group here for. Oh, activated, they missed it earlier. Panther's driving into GFG's base here, Latouf's cheekiness knows no bounds. As at this point, you have, he's clearly strong to like just match the troops' aggressive tempo. Quick grenade at the Jaegers. Great shot there. 163 versus 58. Does look like. GFT have like much chance of winning this at this point it's honestly hard to say but it's looking not exactly ideal for him like he's got plenty of infantry obviously but he's got no real entertaining assets and he's just struggling to like get anywhere versus Latouf at the moment Picking like some kind of assault element here well shock element not assault but shock element's like new causing great damage very fast but GFT's just lacking it here there we go Panther's being pushed back Pony is blocking the center there Pushing north as well, we got an MD42 ready then, of course, with triple MD42s. A like, two of us is a great way of like just stopping a lot of like the two's moments with his infantry. Yeah, boy. Counting down. Mech and assault activate again here for a tough. Going in hard here. And there you go, Jeff G. Surrenders there loss go. here for him. A victory for a tough. A brutal back and forth battle with. Certainly some less than common stuff here from the Wehrmacht with a lot of Jaegers and Panthers. Definitely been a while since we see Panthers. There you go. Brutal fight there. I do think one of the issues there, I think, sort of kind of ended up biting Jifty a bit in the arse. It was just simply put the lack of, you know, of bars on the infantry until like much later. I think it had gone for that sooner. It had been much harder here for like to like fully utilize his Jaegers against Jifty. I think that helped GFT and just sort of pull from advantage. The bars, I think, happened fairly late there. But there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. You learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment. And this is Imperial News. Cheers and see you all tomorrow for the next episode. Bye, everyone.